Hey, what's up guys? I'm Will from DevOps for Developers. And today we're talking about how to make learning DevOps fun. Make DevOps fun? What the fuck? Back in my day, DevOps sucked and that's the way we liked it. We did that shit Jocko Willing style. Woke up at 3 a.m., bang out a thousand push-ups, milk the neighbor's goat, and cut our own wheat for our breakfast cereal. Then when we were ready to work, we didn't have keyboards. We just shoved some wires into a cereal port and shorted it out like Morse code. What is this, fun ops? Oh, can I be the director of fun ops? Oh wait, I actually worked for a startup that had one of those. And it's no surprise they didn't make it. Made a one round pass seed funding the founders had to give up so much equity they had to pay to keep working there. Oh, what if one of those guys watches this video? And it's not like they can hear my thoughts. Besides, what are they gonna do? Fire me? Will. Hey, Will. Yo, Will. Dude. You're supposed to be recording the video. Right, yeah. Um, making DevOps, making learning DevOps fun. Woo, yeah, good times. So, in all seriousness, there's actually a reason for doing this because you're gonna be learning for a long time, you know? And I wanna be really, really straightforward and honest with you on this, that if you think you're gonna learn some skills and then do the DevOps thing, it's not, gonna work like that you're gonna be learning something new every day and I want you to know that up front because I've worked with a lot of people in both DevOps and software engineering who thought that they could go to school learn some skills and some techniques and then just be set for the rest of their career and I'm here to tell you absolutely nothing could be further from the truth you need to know that up front and then you've got to decide, am I okay with that? And if not, I strongly encourage you to start looking at other careers that might be better suited for that. Now, if you're okay with that, it's still going to be a grind. And so that's where learning to make things fun actually helps you and keeps you going through those dry spells. You know, it's actually very similar to learning to play an instrument. I recently bought this nine string guitar, which I absolutely did not buy just to use in this video so I could claim it as a work expense tax write off and then keep the guitar. But doing DevOps and learning to play a musical instrument are, are pretty similar. Like I suck on playing a nine string guitar. To be honest, I suck on the six string as well. And currently you suck at DevOps and that's okay because long after you master DevOps and are pretty good at it, I'm still gonna suck on that guitar. But there's, there's some correlation here, right? Learning DevOps is a lot like learning a musical instrument. It's really important to break things up, break your learning up into what I call ego projects and skills projects. And this is something I learned to do in the course of learning how to play musical instruments. So an ego project is something that you have already learned how to do, and you may not be great at it, but you can do it. For example, playing a song, like any ACDC song is a good example. You can learn to play it pretty quickly, and even if you suck at it, it still sounds pretty good. Now the same thing can be said for, you know, like hosting a static website on CDN. It's, you know, relatively trivial to learn how to do that. And even if you do it wrong, it's still gonna work out okay. So that's an ego project and it's something that you can do on a regular basis. And it's kind of fun to do because you know how to do it and you get that little dopamine hit from being successful at doing something. Now, the other type of project I mentioned is a skills project and that leverages skills that you either don't have mastered very well or you don't have at all, right? For example, learning to memorize the entire fretboard of a nine string guitar and shred like Steve Vai, or learning how to build and deploy your own Kubernetes system um, are both skills that 
are very different than something that might be in your ego skill bucket. And so you want to work on those as well because ultimately you want to master those things. But here's where a lot of people go haywire or get off track. You know, they'll master something, it becomes an ego skill, and they push it aside and go to the next big skill. And they spend all their time working on these big skills. And then you just get frustrated, you get hung up, you get stuck or disheartened with the lack of progress until you say screw it and you just quit completely. Now in addition to keeping you from just giving up completely, ego projects actually serve another purpose as well. For example, if one of your ego projects is deploying um, a static website to CDN using CI/CD like Jenkins or Circle CI or something like that, that's your ego project, right? You can go and you can do that for family, for friends, for coworkers, for side jobs, whatever, and you're successful at that. And now let's say your skills project is deploying a service out to Kubernetes using Helm charts, right? So that's gonna go through CI CD as well. And so what happens is in the course of taking on this bigger project, you actually leverage some of the skills from your ego project. And so by continuing to work on those ego projects, in addition to your skills, you're hammering those skills into a solid foundation, and then you build on that foundation when you take on larger projects. Now over time, what's gonna happen is your skills projects are gonna, you're gonna get good enough at them where they actually become your ego projects. So when you recognize that happening, it's time to just say that's my new ego project and then go pick out a new skills project that's gonna further advance your skills and your career and your mastery of the overall DevOps ecosystem. So if you're just getting started in DevOps, which I have a feeling you might be if you're watching this video, I actually wrote a book called the DevOps Career Guide. And in this book, it's just based on my years and years of experience in DevOps to help you understand what are the key skills that you're gonna need throughout your DevOps career. And I just break them down at a really high level, the technical skills as well as the soft skills that are so important if you're gonna be successful at doing this long term. So the book itself, it's not very thick. There's not a lot of pages here, but I guarantee each and every page is just packed with knowledge that will help you advance your career. So you can pick it up paperback or a yeah, Kindle version on Amazon, and I will throw a link to it in the description down below. Hope that was helpful for you, and um, I'll see y'all later.